Abraham Lincoln once said, I'm not a businessman. I'm a business man. And you should be in the business of acquiring as many shares of T. Higgins as possible. Man. Jamar Chase has emerged as the clear number one option for Joe Burrow, and T. Higgins has been disappointing so far this season. But the underlying numbers show that T. Higgins is due for a bounce back, and he's somebody that I'm targeting everywhere I can. T. Higgins has played in five games this season, and he leads the team in target share with 30.5% and catches with 25. He's got a 9.9 .9 average depth of target, which is second on the team. Not only is T. Higgins being targeted, but he's being targeted in high value areas. He has three receptions and seven targets in the red zone, both which are second on the team. He's got two red zone touchdowns, which are tied for first on the team. And he's got four end zone targets, which is first on the team. And the Cincinnati Bengals passing offense is heating up. They've got 18 passing touchdowns, which is third in the NFL. They started the season off slow. They eased Joe Burrow back in, only attempting 25 passes per game. But the past four weeks, they've seemed to let it fly. They've bumped that up to averaging 34 passing attempts a game. Successful fantasy managers are ones who are able to adjust their player values based on new information. You may have gone into the season thinking that T. Higgins was going to be the wide receiver one in this offense, but that obviously is Jamar Chase. Now, that doesn't mean T. Higgins isn't going to have value this season. Honestly, I view him as a top 24 option, a wide receiver too, but many people are down on him. This is one of the emerging offenses in the NFL and one that I want every piece I can get. Go reach out to the T. Higgins manager in your leagues and see if you can get him at a discount. That's my take on T. Higgins. Make sure you like the video and subscribe to Front Yard Fantasy on YouTube.